In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about base building in DayZ. All of the tools and resources can be found around the map in sheds, garages and outhouses. If you do enjoy the video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Before you can build in DayZ, you'll need either a fence or a watchtower kit. To craft these, you'll need a piece of rope. You'll need to combine your rope with two short sticks to craft a fence kit. Or four short sticks to craft a watchtower kit. Here are all the tools you'll need for construction of either a fence or a watchtower. To gather logs, you'll need either a fire axe, splitting axe, or a hatchet. To gather planks, either a hacksaw or a handsaw. To build the base of your fence or watchtower, you'll need either a shovel, pickaxe, a farming hoe, or a field shovel. Then, to build your fence or watchtower, you can use either a hammer, hatchet, or a meat tenderizer. And if you want to build a gate, you'll also need a pair of pliers. The resources and materials you're going to need to build a fence or watchtower are nails, logs, and planks. You gather logs from trees, and planks by combining wooden logs with your saw, or from plank piles that can be found in industrial areas all over the map. You can use an app called iSurvive to find potential plank spawn locations by using the filters and selecting planks. To turn the fence into a gate, you'll need metal wire and either a three or four dial lock. So how do you actually build a fence and then how do you turn it into a gate? To build a fence, you'll need two logs, 36 nails and 18 planks. Take your fence kit and find somewhere you want to place it. This can be to build the gate on front of a building, block off windows or build a compound. You can rotate the kits by using mouse wheel or D-pad if you're on console. If you can place the kit in your desired location, the blueprint will light up. If it doesn't light up, it means you can't place it there. Keep in mind when placing your fence kit that you can accidentally place it backwards, leaving the weaker side of the fence exposed. To avoid this, when placing your fence kit, check to see which side has these knots in the rope. You want these knots to be facing away from you, as this side will make up the outside part of your fence. The fence kit will automatically have its soft side facing you when placing, so this only becomes a problem when rotating and you forget how many times you rotated the kit and which way the kit is facing. Attach two logs to the kit and take one of your base tools to build the base of your fence. Next, attach your nails and planks and use one of your build tools to begin constructing your fence. First, you'll build the frame, followed by the outer wall. You also have the option to build a platform on the wall. You'll need an extra 31 nails and 13 planks to build the platform. To then turn the fence into a gate, you'll need a metal wire and a three or four dial lock. Once the fence is constructed, attach your metal wire and use the pliers to build a gate. Now you can add a lock to your gate but make sure you set the code first. With the lock in your hand, look in the bottom left hand corner and you can see what the current code is on the lock. Cycle through the numbers set in your own code and attach it to the gate. Once you attach it to the gate, it will display random numbers when you look at it. You'll need to cycle through the numbers to put your code in to remove the lock and open the gate. To build the watchtower, you'll need logs, planks, nails, and sheet metal. This is for the entire thing, all the staircases, walls, floors, and roof. Deploy the kit once it's highlighted in an area you want to build. There will be an open section of the kit facing you. This side of the watchtower is completely open, so keep this in mind when placing. Attach four logs onto the kit and use one of the base tools to build the base of your watchtower. 
Each wall of the watchtower will require 36 nails and 18 planks. To build the floor of the next level, you'll need 20 nails and 10 planks. To build the staircase going up to the next level, you'll need 18 nails and 6 planks. To build the base of the next level, attach 4 logs, and instead of using any of the base tools, you'll use either a hammer or a hatchet. Then build the walls, floors of the next level and stairs just like you did for the lower level. Repeat this step for the third level. To build the roof, you'll need 20 nails, 6 sheet metal and 6 planks. Everything in DayZ has a despawn timer and eventually it will just despawn if it isn't interacted with by players or if it is ruined. The same applies for bases. The flagpole keeps the persistence of your base. This means that everything you've built and any storage you have full of your loot in your base won't just despawn once you've built and placed everything. Now, this doesn't mean you have to build a flagpole. You can just interact with your walls, gates and storage to refresh its persistence on the server every couple of days. So to build a flagpole, you'll need a flagpole kit by combining three short sticks and a rope. To build the base, you'll need one log and a sledgehammer. To build the support, attach six logs and 32 stones. You can mine large stones from these types of rocks with either a sledgehammer or a pickaxe. Once you've added your stones and logs, use a shovel or a pickaxe to build the support. Then you'll want to build the pole with three logs, 60 nails, one rope and one metal wire. Then use either a hammer or a hatchet to build the pole. Now you can attach your flag and raise it. You can find flags in hunting shops and supermarkets. Keep in mind while building a flagpole that other players can interact with your flag and take it down. It isn't wise to build it out in the open with no protection. Make sure you're repairing your tools with sharpening stones. Once your tools are ruined, you can no longer repair them. You can only repair them back to a worn state from badly damaged. Each repair will take a use away from the sharpening stone. Not all tools can be repaired, such as shovels, hammers, sledgehammers and pliers. You can also build fences and watchtowers with sheet metal instead of using planks to build the outer walls. You'll need 6 sheet metal and 24 nails for each fence. You can attach camo net into fences, gates and watchtowers. You can attach barbed wire to the tops and bottoms of gates, fences and watchtower walls. And if you want to see how I built this really cool base then click here.